Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. My name is D-Free here today. We are taking a look at all of the brand new movie characters that just came out this week. Movie characters. Movie characters, really. There are some, there is a movie character. That's not what I meant. A few of them, right? Anyways, that being said, hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe if you're new for more content. We are taking a look at the new batch of characters that came out a couple of days ago. Sorry about this video being a couple of days late. We had, uh, Renzi was, Renzi's on vacation, so he hadn't updated the website, and I wanted to wait until he did. So anyways... Let's jump in, and the very, very first one is the one that most people are coveting, Super Saiyan 2 Son Gohan. And we're going to start off by taking a look at this guy. So if you want to see some gameplay for this man, I'll leave a link down below. I already put up a video on him. Now, typically, I like to try to wait a couple more days to get a little bit more accustomed to the units. Uh, but sometimes they just get a little too late when I do that. So that one, I was like, yeah, let me just do it on this day and get it done. And I hopefully today or tomorrow I'll have one for sell who I'm going to say now, Cell is a lot better than I think he's given credit for. Like, I really don't think the gap between Gohan and Cell is too close, or like too far. So, that being said, we'll get to that in a minute. So, Gohan, 2,000 stats right there. Not bad. The grid is full basically down here. 2285 key restore. We have the critical, which is 1322. Not bad as well. Now, Gohan does a ton of things. So the main ability draws the ultimate arts card. Father, son, Kamehameha restores his own health by 30% and his key by 50. So he draws a card, gives you a ton of health, and more than enough key to use the card. He also nullifies own unfavorable element factor for 20 counts if there is a defeated battle member. Any battle member down, he gets neutral. So he does not care about being versus a blue type unit. So that actually synergizes very, very well with the Goku defeated part of the next passive. So altogether, that's a very, very potent main ability. It does everything that you would want a main ability to do. Bonus key. Check. Bonus health. Check. Draws a ultimate card. Check again. So, and then also not to mention, again, neutral versus blue types. Amazing, amazing, amazing man ability. So we go to the passive. The following effects occur per defeated battle member. Plus 30% of damage inflicted. 20% to key recovery. 100% to ultimate damage inflicted if character Goku is defeated. So you can kind of see a theme here. Gohan is basically a crisis unit. So being a crisis, by the way, I didn't mention earlier, he's a range type, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But being a crisis unit, he really wants to be in a position where he's your last fighter, and your other two have gone down for optimal usage of this unit. Now, that doesn't mean that he has to be in that situation, but that is where he excels the most at. You see the stacking of abilities for him. For example, if one enemy is down, or one of your allies is down, he gets a 30% damage inflicted bonus, and it's general damage. It's not specifying strike damage or blast damage. It's just damage inflicted. And then on top of that, he also does get the, the uh, if you use the main ability, the elemental factor nullification. So, like, all of that stuff. And then if another ally is down, he gets a 20% key recovery bonus, which is insanely good. And then if one of those happens to be a Goku, 100%. Really good. I don't think it stacks with double Goku, but if it does, that's crazy. That's overkill. Because as it is, Gohan can hit with his main ability um, ultimate card. He, I've had him crit for over 1.7 million, which is enough to one-shot anybody. So he can do a ton of damage. Now, turn regret into power. Minus five to own blast arts cost. Cannot be canceled. That is a very big deal. Because there are cards that have the ability to remove buffs, basically. And they he, that cannot go away. He always will be able to have that. Minus five to own blast arts cost. Reduces damage received from tag regeneration by 20% cannot be canceled he is basically anti-regen for the defensive side of things he just takes reduced damage from them and it is not going away every regen character ever will do 20 percent less damage to go on insanely good cannot be canceled plus 15 percent to damage inflicted for 15 counts every time this character uses a blast card notice 15 percent to damage inflicted for 15 counts it does not specify blast damage so if you are using your blast cards all of your damage inflicted does get a battle bonus. Very, very good. That coupled with the reduced cost that he always has and stuff like that means that, you know, 24 cost blast cards, that's not too bad. You know, the bigger issue is when that extra five adds up on you. 29, 29, it adds up very quickly. The only issue with being a blast unit now is the fact that the animation is slower than a strike animation. That's the only issue 
But really, you want to have blast cards for this man. And we're just going to go ahead and jump ahead. He actually holds double blast cards. So, like, it's different. He's a different play style. He's the first blast unit, I think, that's been kind of like this. Not that there aren't other ones that are good, that stack their damage with blast cards, whatever the case is. But the negative five, right, and stuff like that, and just the, the accumulation of things that he does, right? So very, very good blast unit who also has a very respectable strike attack, too. It's not that far behind. And then the last part, to add icing on top of the cake, man, is reduce his damage received by 40% until the combo ends when changing cover. It's not a crazy, crazy, crazy good damage uh, cover change, but it's still really good. 40% is awesome. <laughs> and not only that, when he cover changes, he gets 25% of blast damage inflicted for 20 timer counts when activated. Again, right there, they do specify blast. If you were, you know, kind of like questioning whether it actually, you know, was actually a big deal, whether it mentioned blast or not, they do specify blast for that. So it is a big deal. Otherwise, they wouldn't specify. So really good. <laughs> really good. He does a ton of things, man. Uh, Super Combat Meha deals major impact damage, inflicts the enemy with attribute downgrade, minus one arts card draw speed for 20 counts on hit. That's busted. 50 cost, reducing their draw speed, anti-sidestep, very good. Green card, cancels own attribute downgrades. That's very good. If you can remove negative ailments, nat negative statuses, that's good. The following effects occur based on own remaining health. Again, more crisis. Health is 50% or more. He gets a 20% blast damage inflicted bonus for 20 counts. 50% uh, if health is below 50%, he gets 35% instead. The ultimate deals massive impact damage plus 25% to damage inflicted for 20 counts upon activation. Blast armor when charging forward. He has blast armor. That's not new, right? And also, this is a cinematic legendary finish. He also does more damage afterwards. Upon activation, actually. So it actually would get factored into this card, if I'm not mistaken. Not to mention, if there's a Goku down, he already does 100% more. Like, this is, this is the most damaging unit in the game. He just is. Like, that's... If he can crit for 1.7 with one card, that's a lot of damage. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure... I think I've seen Dino actually get him 1.7 without a crit. But nonetheless, that doesn't mean he's the best unit in the game. Uh, because I do still think that he faces very, very tough competition from other units we're going to look at here. And then also the aforementioned previous ones where we have Broly, we have Zamasu. You know, characters that are really good. Just because he's the hardest hitter doesn't necessarily mean that he is the best unit in the game, but I think that Gohan is definitely up there, at least top three to five. At least. Um, but he does have naturally, sun uh, hi hybrids, excuse me. I was hoping that he would have Sun Family naturally, because he wants to be with a Goku. So what they did was they gave him Sun Family a three star. That's not bad. It means you have to get a second copy, which still a lot of people won't get because he's locked behind tickets. I don't think, by the way, that he is going to wind up getting, that this is going to be a thing going forward very uh, uh, often. You know, at three star, it would be nice, but I don't think it is. I think they're going to stick to five and go home as a special case. Maybe more ticket specific units because they're definitely going to lock more behind tickets. I'm sorry, they will. So, that being said, let's move on to Lord Slug, melee type. Probably the least hype character on this list of characters, but don't let that, don't let that fool you, man. He's good. We have melee base, sagas from the movies, regeneration. Very good. So, let's go ahead and take a look down here. The grid there for this man. So, main ability. Draws a special arts card next. Restores own key by 30. And plus 40% to strike damage inflicted for 20 counts. Takes 25 counts to use. So the special arts card is the green. And the green is really good. And we'll talk about that in a minute. This is a very, very simple main ability. But don't let it fool you. Like, this man, this man does a ton of damage. Not to mention, he immediately draws the green card, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then gets enough key to use it. This is one of the most damaging strike units I've seen, and he's very good, like very, very output-wise. Very good output. Uh, very good output-wise, excuse me. So, unique ability. Strike damage inflicted increased based on remaining health when this character enters the battlefield. Up to 50%. 50% or more, he gets 30% strike damage. If he's below 50%, he gets 50% strike damage. Effect resets after character switches. So, this is interesting. You can have him enter the battlefield, and as soon as he enters the battlefield, he, at the beginning of the battle, he automatically starts off with a 30% strike damage uh, bonus. You can play with him a bit, 
Switch him out. Bring him back in. Below 50% by chance. He'll have a 50% instead. <laughs> and if you use healing allies, of course, that, that can be manipulated. But nonetheless, that's crazy. Innate power. Strike attack up. Plus 25% to strike damage inflicted once 30 timer counts elapse from the battle start. So in a long battle, he automatically gets this. So this starts stacking with the below 50% attack increase, which is 50% more strike damage. The main ability, which is another 40 for this man is, I'm telling you, like, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to wait a little bit with this too, so I can see some of these units in action, play with and against some of these units, and Slug is very good. So we come down here to his special, which can be taught, which most of them, I don't know, seem like they can't. Everyone I want to teach can't be. Major Explode Damage reduces enemies' key by 40 on hit. That's really solid because it obstructs combos. Plus, and it has a 40% chance to inflict per Paralyze on hit. Paralyze is one of the most annoying things in the game. Almost a 50% chance. I'll say that's very good. But again, basically no unit these days that comes out as bad anyway. It's just which ones are better than the other ones. <laughs> so the green card, it costs 20 key to use. He holds double strike cards, by the way. Being a melee fighter, that's great. Being on a team with Zamasu and Cell, who are both melee fighters. That's amazing. So let's talk about the green card. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 15% to strike damage received. They take 15% more strike damage just by using a green card. For 15 counts on hit. 30% chance to take your opponent's Dragon Balls and add them to your own on hit. I don't know how many it does. I think it's just one, but I'll have to test that more. But still, still, excuse me, stealing a Dragon Ball is insane. It's basically Rising Rush on demand, which is crazy, especially because it's a green card. The only way that this gets any more broken is if he held a green card. If this man held a green card, you know how busted that would be? But, I mean, he still draws it with the main ability. So, anyways, I guess you just use him with the Bora. Do it. Double blue, the Burrow boosts him, do it. Nah, that's just for fun. Anyways, effects will change according to how many Dragon Balls they have. Wait, what? One or more, take one, gain one. None equals no effect. Okay. So you only take one. Okay. I was going to say that's really broken. But that that guy with King Piccolo out here stealing a lot of Dragon Balls. <laughs> Those two and Bulma together, <laughs> you get Rise and Rush instantly, man. Holy crap. Use Bulma, use her green card. Oh, to be fair, probably not. Maybe use Ultimate Gohan to force green cards into your hand for Slug. I don't know. Those are just weird little combos that don't make... They make sense, but they don't work in the in the game as well as they sound. Uh, so he gets regen, regular strike attack, incredible. Incredible regular boost. I was thinking they would give him blast attack by default, and that would really suck for the units that don't want it as much, like Cell and Zamasu. They don't want it as much, but they want it. But at 5-star... Double boost, strike, and blast attack. Phenomenal. Slug is insanely good. Insanely good unit. Now, we take a look at the man, the one and only Cell, Regen, Melee Fighter, Android, Future, all that other stuff. These are the stats. Grid is off the chart. 61,000 strike attack. We come down here, 2,300, 1,360. All good numbers. We look at the main ability. Draws the ultimate arts card, Solar Kamehameha. Next, applies the attribute upgrade. Minus 80% to enemies cover sustained damage. Cut to self for 30 counts. Costs 20 counts to use. <laughs> this nullifies enemies' serve, uh, cover change. Basically what this is. They say sustained damage cut because there are cover rescue and other things like that. But, like... It basically eliminates it. That's really good. Just by using your main ability for 30 counts. He just turns off their, their ability to switch in and take reduced damage. Insane. Not to mention he draws the ultimate card. And typically these main abilities that draw an ultimate card always take 25 counts to elapse. You look surprised. Minus 5 to own Blast Art's cost. Just like Gohan and cannot be canceled as well. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Seal one enemy card slot randomly. This is so demoralizing and annoying. It was always annoying when you faced Debora, but admittedly, Debora wasn't that common. But basically, Cell will be in every match you fight now. And he is insanely good, and this is really annoying. The sealed card slot cannot be used for 10 counts. That's annoying. I've had it lock my Dragon Balls. I've been one Dragon Ball away from a rush, things like that. And it just it, it shuts you down, man. It really does. Um... The sealed card can't be used for 10 counts. Activates three times. Plus 45% to damage inflicted for 15 counts. 
<laughs> okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Cell. When he enters the battlefield, he automatically gets a 45% damage inflicted bonus for 15 counts. And he restores his own health for 60 counts. He restores his health gradually, which is like, I think it was like 2,000 or 3,000, whatever it is. It's, it's a very minuscule amount, but gradually, meaning that he just regenerates, which is really cool. We come down here, cover rescue, receives zero damage when changing cover for the first time. Plus five to own substitution count when activated. That's the only, ev that's, this is only ever the bad part about cover rescue, uh, the, the penalty. But nonetheless, he has that instant transmission cover where he switches in and you just don't take any damage. Avoid the rising rush entirely, stuff like that. So really, really, really potent ability. Super Kamameha deals major impact damage, plus 20% to damage inflicted for 15 counts upon activation. We have the green card down here, which is a long range attack, which I didn't really talk about with Lord Slug, by the way. It's long range, which is really, really interesting. Perfect shot. This is a really good ability. And the same thing applies between Lord Slug and uh, Incel. Green cards typically have prior, if they're a, if they're a attack, like I don't want to say attack, but like attack based or like enemy target based, you know, like solar flare, whatever the case is, green cards have priority over just about every arts in the game, including rushes in a lot of scenarios like flash. I know for a fact cancels rush and stuff like that. So this is no different. The green cards on these cards are no different. I'll have to test them if they can cancel the rush, but they have priority over just about everything in the game. So anyways, Perfect shot. Plus 25% to strike damage inflicted for 25 counts upon activation. Upon activation, he just gets a flat 25% bonus. Cool. He doesn't even have the hit. Gets it. Inflicts enemy with the attribute downgrade. Plus 20% to strike arts cost. Or plus 20, excuse me. Uh, for 10 timer counts. Plus 20 to their strike cards. Plus 20. 2-0. That's not 2-0. Like I don't even need to explain why that's broken. Soul like Kamameha. Massive impact damage. Plus 25% of the damage inflicted again upon activation. He dashes forward. He does not have blast armor. Plus 20% chance to inflict faint on hit. 20%, 1 in 5. Not the best, but whatever. Automatic Android boost. Regen and Android at 5 star. Cell? Here's the deal. Cell is more practical to use in a lot of scenarios when you look at here's the comparison i'm not going to eliminate slug from this list but i do think slug is probably the worst of these three out of and they're all like amazing top tier units but nonetheless when you look at cell versus gohan specifically their kits are entirely different they play entirely different cell is more practical throughout the fight while Gohan wants to be your last unit that's that's standing, right? He gets a lot of his buffs from having downed allies. While Cell obstructs combos by bonusing on the enemy's card cost. Is relevant on the best team in the game. I consider Regen the best team in the game because they still have Zamasu and they have these two. And there's just too much. Piccolo got buffed. They have King Piccolo. They have Janemba. They have Evil. They have too much. This is the best team to me. Uh, and, and you're free to disagree, but I don't. I don't. Sun Family's good, not good enough. Future is amazing because they have Zamasu and Mai, but mainly Zamasu. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Holy Trinity still top tier, but they're really going to struggle with this team. Nonetheless, every team struggles with this team. So, anyways, moving on. So, they, they play differently. This guy cancels Cover Cut, draws an ultimate. His cost is always reduced, so he's doing 19 to 24 per card, just like Gohan. Seals your card, which obstructs combos. The sealed card can't be used for 10 counts. Bonus damage inflicted. Self-regeneration. He has cover rescue, which is very, very, very good. Very uncommon as well. There's only a few units in the game that have that. Upon activation, he gets bonus damage. And then the green card here, again, has priority. It's not It's not a attack or not a green card like Gohan's where it doesn't do anything to the opponent and they just stand there. It can literally make them waste key by going through like their blast card or whatever. Not to mention, speaking of wasting key, they have to waste 20 more key just for using a strike card, which is supposed to be the cheapest card in the game for 10 counts. This this unit has too much potential to really make life difficult for your opponent. So to me, I think that he's a little better for than Gohan just because of the way that he plays and the fact that he's relevant more often, I guess. So that's how I look at it. And again, Gohan's going to 
blow Cell away. He's going to just destroy Cell in one shot if Cell gets hit with the Kamehameha. But, like, he's too good. He's, he's just way too good, man. Anyways, we have TN now. We'll take a look at him and Trunks, and we'll get out of here. 2,000 We have a support type. These are the stats that we have. Feel free to pause for the TN. We look at the main ability. Plus 40% of strike damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Very good. Inflicts all enemies with the attribute downgrade. Minus one arts card draw speed level as well with just the main ability. And it takes 10 counts to use. So he's going to get a nice strike buff and a uh, ailment on the opponent really early. Inflicts enemy with the attribute downgrade plus 10 to strike arts cost for 10 timer counts when character enters the battlefield. Wait, what? <laughs> just by entering the battlefield, automatic bonus 10. That's insane. That's insane. Plus 30% too. Uh, and I was just talking about how 20, 20 is busted. But this is this is more common. This seems like it's better than Cell. Just, just going to be honest because I'd be able to use it every time it switches in. And I don't know how often I'll have a green card. So not bad. I mean, 10 isn't the – the thing is that 20 is, is insurmountable. Like, that's a lot. Using, like, 39 per strike card on hit, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not to mention your, your your blast card could be sealed, too. There we go. Back to sell, man. Uh, inflicted damage up, plus 30% to damage inflicted when three battle members are left. Oh, hey, the reverse of a crisis unit. He wants there to be units there. Not bad. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about early on, but then he peters out in the end of the fight. If, if you know your allies, you go down, but it's still cool. Um, it's easier to have that, I would say. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, deals major impact. And again, I, I got to do this because I know people are going to get mad when it comes to Gohan because obviously the hype glasses are going to say he's the best one here. But like even when it comes to Gohan, he, I'm not going to discount him. I think that. The fact that he doesn't need two allies to be down is amazing. He can get a buff from one being down two. And with that one is Goku, his ultimate just skyrockets. And really, the one being down bonus for the 30% or whatever is way better than the second one, I would say. But nonetheless, I just think Cell does too much, man. Anyways, so we come back here. Solar Flare, not long range, unfortunately, but it destroys all of your enemy strike cards on hit. <laughs> and it's 10 cost. Okay, TN. I've had enough. I, that guy's good. I've had enough. I can't deal with that. <laughs> Melee Fighter, future Hybrid Saiyan, Vegeta Family, Trunks, long hair Trunks from the Cell Saga. We come down here. Last shot at victory. Destroys all of your own and your enemy's cards. Now, this is misleading. You might not want to destroy your cards, but it's actually really good. If you had no cards, you just comboed them out. Combo them all out, then use the main ability. And then he increases his own arts card draw speed level by one for 15 counts. So he might be able to get that card back pretty fast. I don't know. I'll have to test him out. Inflicts enemy to attribute downgrade minus one <laughs> as well. He destroys his own, picks up his own speed, and destroys the opponent's speed. Plus 40% to strike damage inflicted once 25 counts elapsed from the battle start. I actually kind of like this. This isn't very common. I think Slug has this too. I really like this. Anti-regen, wow. And it's a strike anti-regen, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Being purple screws him, though. Cell is going to just destroy him. But nonetheless, that's this unit is good. This is this is the next evil boo level EX in the game. And the thing is, a lot of EXs are good. I think evil boo kind of got somewhere along the way got a little overhyped. But this guy is good. <laughs> We come down here, deals major impact damage, inflicts the enemy that should be downgrade, excuse me, plus 20% of strike damage received, 50 cost. Green card, unlock a key form of attack, plus 20% to own strike damage, plus 20% to own key recovery as well, both for 20 counts. Double strike cards. Future, bottom. These are not future units, Renzi, what are you doing? All good, man. Uh, oh, that's why. Okay, so he picks up purple and future at five star. Holy crap. Purple and future is surprisingly good. A mono purple strike support is insane. Because mono purple is already the best mono team in the game. Mono purple strike support is insane. And future. I don't know if future really needs. Well, they needed a purple. They didn't really have a purple as you see here. They didn't really have a purple. Last time they dropped the EX Mai. Unfortunately, she was never really going to get much play because there's the green Mai. And there's not much reason to run the EX Mai because her Z ability isn't that great. She's good. But she, she, her Z ability wasn't that great. She doesn't even pick it up until 5-star. Blast attack is good, though, nonetheless. Anyways, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you were new for more content. Let me know what you guys think about all of these units. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.